The Many Colors of Harpreet Singh by Supriya Kelkar, illustrated by Alia Marley and afterward by Simran Jeet Singh. Harpreet Singh loved his colors. Bright, muted pastel or neon. He had one for every occasion. He wore yellow when he felt sunny, spreading cheer everywhere he went. He wore pink when he felt like celebrating, bopping along to Bhangra beats. And he wore red when he needed an extra boost of courage. Harpreet took great care of his colorful patkas. He made sure they were clean and soft, smoothing each one out gently before putting it on. One day, Harpreet's mom announced that she had found a job in a snowy town across the country. It'll be fun, his mom said. It'll be an adventure, said his dad. It won't be the same, said Harpreet. Saying goodbye took a lot of courage. Harpreet also had colors for not so happy occasions. He wore blue when he felt nervous, his heart thumping in his chest. He wore gray when he was sad, like a cloud about to rain. And he wore white when he felt shy, not wanting to be seen. Lately at his new school, Harpreet had been wearing white an awful lot. He wore it on a field trip. He wore it for a class party. He even wore it on ordinary days. Because even on ordinary days, he wanted to be invisible. Do you want to wear red? His mom asked. No reason to be brave, Harpreet replied. How about pink? Asked his dad. What's there to celebrate? Said Harpreet. Maybe all you need, said his mom, is a little sunshine. Harpreet shook his head and sighed. Look outside. No birds. No blooms. No beach. Just cold. The next day, Harpreet went to the school in white, feeling gloomier than ever before. It seemed like everything in this town was frowning along with him, even the snow. But it wasn't a frown at all. It was a smile. And Harpreet knew who it belonged to. I like your hat, said Harpreet. I like your hat, said the girl. Mine's not a hat, actually. It's called a patka, said Harpreet. Mine's itchy, said the girl. Harpreet laughed. I'm Harpreet, he said. The girl extended a mitten. I'm Abby. The next day, Harpreet was sure to wear red. For a class party a week later, he tried pink. It wasn't long before he dug his yellow patka out of his drawer. He made sure it was clean and soft, smoothing the wrinkles out gently before putting it on. Soon the trees had buds, and the outdoors were filled with the sounds of chirping birds. All that's missing is the beach, said Harpreet's mom. She turned to Harpreet. So what color are you wearing tomorrow? Harpreet thought for a moment. Maybe white, he said, and smiled. It reminds me of snow. 
Yes, Harpreet Singh loved his colors. He had one for every occasion, even for just hanging out with a friend. The end. A note from Simran Jeet Singh, a scholar and professor of Sikhism. Guru Nanak founded the Sikh religion about 500 years ago in the Punjab region of South Asia. He believed in one God who lives in everyone and everything and that all Sikhs should practice core values like service, justice, and love. The Sikh turban represents a commitment to living these values. In this story, Harpreet likes to express himself through the colors of his patkas. The colors that he associates with his moods are his personal choice, as Sikhs are free to choose their colors, styles, and even designs of their turbans. The specific turban that Harpreet wears, called a patka, is a common style for young boys. Both women and men can wear turbans, though it is true that more men wear turbans than women. There are also some Sikhs who choose not to wear turbans at all, but still practice the faith. Turbans remind Sikhs that everyone is equal and important. How? In the past, only queens and kings could wear turbans. The Sikh leaders, called gurus, believe that all people should wear turbans to signify that every person is royal and that no one is better than anyone else. I think about these values each morning as I wrap my turban around my head. The Many Colors of Harpreet Singh has been brought to you by Cultural Café. Cultural Café is an initiative that strives to narrate the stories of our nation's diversity. It hopes to build bridges, to keep kindness, common ground, inclusion, and empathy alive through storytelling. Please support Cultural Café by liking, subscribing, or commenting. Thank you.